You are listening to Sacred Heart of Jesus Radio, a ministry of the Order of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Hello everyone and welcome to today's afternoon prayer. We begin by saying in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. O Sacred Heart of Jesus, you have brought us this far into this day, you have protected us, and in your mercy you guided us. Sacred Heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. O living bread from heaven, we thank you for watching over us through the day. Sacred Heart of Jesus, without you, we would not have made it. Sacred Heart of Jesus, we pray that you watch over us as we sleep tonight. Bless us with the covering of your Holy Spirit, O Sacred Heart, O Lord. Adorable and precious heart, grant that your grace may come and quiet our hearts. We seek comfort and refuge inside your gentle heart, O sacred heart of Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, meek and humble you down on the cross for us, yet aware of your great sacrifice, we have continued to sin against you. Your sacred heart has shown us perfection. You have given us all your love, but we have not loved you with a whole heart. We have not followed your example. When your sacred heart invited us to love our neighbors and our enemies as we love ourselves, we turned and walked away. When you gave us the opportunity to be merciful and forgive those who have hurt us, we often closed our hearts instead. We prostrate, prostrate ourselves before your throne and implore that you forgive our sins, purify our hearts, so that we may perfectly and worthily love and magnify your sacred heart. Amen. O sacred heart, what could we bring to you in order to give you thanks? For as the day progressed, you provided for us beyond measure. Your generous heart gave to us without condition. Even though you have every right to demand from us. Holy, holy, holy Lord, we offer you our hearts and pray that you place them in your sacred heart. Allow us to dwell in your sacred heart so that we may be transformed in such a way that tomorrow we will awaken with a burning desire to love you and serve you day and night. O oh, blessed sacrament, the tabernacle of our heart desperately needs you. Without you it is cold and empty, but with you it comes to life. Here we are, Lord, we prostrate before you, knowing that your mercy will cover us with unending blessings because of your unending grace. Let us be a blessing to those around us. Amen. We now take this moment to bring to mind the needs of the Christian church. We especially pray for persecuted brothers and sisters who suffer at the hands of those who hate Jesus. And Lord, we pray that you send your angels before them to remove all obstacles out of their way and to encamp around them and protect them from all attacks of the enemy. We also pray, Heavenly Father, for those who persecute your people that your Holy Spirit may touch their hearts so that their eyes may be opened and they may become 
your followers. And Jesus, we pray for all bishops, especially we pray for Archbishop Brown. We pray for all the apostles, priests, missionaries, deacons, religious and all people. And gracious Father, we pray for those who are sick, especially those who suffer from cancer, lupus, multiple sclerosis, diabetes, autoimmune diseases, neurological diseases, neuromuscular diseases, mental health problems, drug addiction, or any other form of addiction. We pray for those, Heavenly Father, who are grieving. We pray for the homeless, the poor, the unemployed, and the oppressed. We pray for an end to domestic violence, an end to the abuse of women and children, and an end to abortion. Heavenly Father, I also pray for this ministry, that you will help us grow here in the in the local area first, so that we can have a strong base to grow from, and that from here we will grow and spread to different regions of the world. That you will help me raise up leaders to open chapels around the world, and that will grant me wisdom and understanding of your ways as I go out there and um, serve you. Heavenly Father, I pray that you help my, my help, my back is, it's given me some trouble, it's been giving me some trouble for, for years, but uh, the, usually it gets worse sometimes, and so the last couple of weeks, is being acting up and tonight is to that point where I'm in a lot of pain and there's a lot of things that I tried to do today you know simple things and I could not even move my arms because uh, the pain was was excruciating and so I pray that you help me out Lord um, and help me with this pain that I have on my back that will you will bring some healing to me also, I'm having problems with my right ankle. When I put my weight on it, it causes me a great deal of pain. Uh, and Heavenly Father, I, I want to pray for Luis Enrique. He's uh, my father-in-law who is in the hospital. Have mercy on him, O oh Lord, and bring healing to him as well. I pray for Evelyn and her therapy business, that you will help her um, find new uh, referral sources and new patients, that will, you will help her manage her time to the point that she can juggle all, the, juggle all the companies that she has to work work with. Uh, pray for Christine, that you will bless her she's got into med school we praise you and thank you for that she wouldn't have made it without you lord but uh, there's still one school that hasn't responded that has her on a waiting list and financially well just you know the logistics of it and, and why not that school that remains open will be she feels more beneficial to her. However, she knows that you know what's best for her. And so she asks that you, you know, help her uh, make the decisions and choices that are right for her based on your plans for her and not simply on her own desires. I pray for Avelia. Pray for Antonio, bless them and protect them, Lord, and guide them. And pray for Sandra, who is applying for Social Security. She needs Social Security. She's, she's in, not in good health. Uh, she was denied the first try, and we pray, Lord, that in your mercy, the appeal will go through, uh, and that she will get her social security benefits. Not only that, Lord, that uh, this will take place promptly for uh, she needs to finance us.
and Lord. We also bring to you the special intentions for the order of the sacred heart of Jesus. Lord, we pray that when we come together for prayer, we may pray in the Spirit at all times in every prayer and supplication. Merciful Father, without your Holy Spirit, we are nothing but emptiness and confusion. Let us be filled with the Holy Spirit so that we may be inspired to pray according to your will and purpose. Gracious Father, as you fill us with your Holy Spirit, let the manifestation of the Spirit be given to us. Grant us a message of wisdom. Grant us a message of knowledge. Increase our faith. Bless us with the gifts of healing. Give us miraculous powers. Give us the gift of prophecy, the gift of distinguishing between spirits, the gift of speaking in different kinds of tongues, the gift of interpretation of tongues. But more importantly, Lord, we pray that you bless us with the gift of love, all according to your will and for the glory of your holy name. Lord Christ, in your mercy you have called us to serve you. We pray that you will guide us and inspire us by the Holy Spirit, so that when we speak, a message may be given to us to make known with boldness the mystery of the gospel. Heavenly Father, we live in a time when the world has, attempts to contaminate every aspect of our life with contradictions to your word. Help us to be strong in you, God, and to rely on your power. Put your armor on us, God, so that we may be able to stand against the tricks of the devil. Christ Jesus, many refuse to hear your holy message and are being deceived by the enemy. The harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. We pray according to your will that you send out workers into your harvest field, that upon hearing your gospel, many will repent, be baptized, and be saved by your unending grace. King of Peace, as you ask, whom shall I send to proclaim your message of salvation into the world? Here am I, send me. Look kindly upon you servants gather here today and use each of us according to your gifts as ambassadors of your holy message here in our cities and around the world lord god heavenly king revive us and we will call on your name restore us O oh lord god almighty Make your face shine upon us that we may be saved. Bring a revival to each one of us that from all revival, many of them will come to hear and accept the good news of salvation. And we just got this prayer uh, submitted by Nicholas. Nicholas is asking that we join him in prayer and that we pray that he may find a job. Heavenly Father, open doors for Nicholas. Help him, O oh Lord, find a good paying job so that he can provide for himself and those who depend on him. Have mercy on him, Jesus. Have mercy on him, O oh Lord. We pray this in your name, Jesus. Amen. And we also continue today's prayer as the Lord Jesus Christ taught us by saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and leave.